hi everyone welcome back to my channel so excuse my face i don't have any makeup on today but i just wanted to go over a quick little vid of how to style curly hair when it's looking like this so this is from days of like putting it up putting it down like it hasn't been conditioned washed it's so gross but there are days when like your hair looks like this and you don't have time to wash it like you have to go so i'm going to show you guys a few different styles that i go to if my hair looks like this because there's been many times where i've had to go out with friends or do something and i just didn't have enough time to wash it and like because curly girls know it's a process to get your hair looking on fleek it's not like a one two take a shower leave so I just decided to film this video for you guys, so I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys have any video suggestions for hair, you know, looks in the future, leave them in the comment box below. I would really appreciate it. Obviously, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button, and let's just jump right in. Oh, and there's a few things that you're going to need to be able to create these looks, so I will show you guys what you will need to do so obviously a hair tie you're going to need some kind of water bottle this doesn't have a lot of water in it but you're gonna need something like a spray bottle and gel or mousse whatever you prefer but something to hold your hair in place and you're also going to need a toothbrush or an edge brush if you are bougie like that but I just have a toothbrush so yeah that was just a side note forgot to let you guys know that but let's just jump right in so the first hairstyle is a half up half down bun it is definitely one of my favorite go-to hairstyles so I'm just separating the top section of my hair and I'm not really making the sides equal I just kind of do it like eyeball I don't really like go too much into depth with that I just kind of make sure that it looks somewhat even and somewhat doable and then I get a little bit of a knot there as you curly girls know sometimes you just have to rip it so yeah, I just take the top section, twirl it into a bun, and then I just make sure that each, the sides are even so you don't have too much hair lying on one side or the other. And when I'm putting the bun up, I don't pull the hair all the way through and kind of pull it halfway through and then do the rest, so do another loop. And I've just noticed that this actually gives your hair more volume. It kind of gives more sturdiness at the base of the bun because you do have those hairs that were not pulled all the way through. And then I just take a few bobby pins to keep it up. I don't like it sticking up too, too high. I kind of like it to look, look like it has one movement up into a bun and not just like a little bun sticking out, if that makes any sense. So I just pin it a couple of times and you are good to go after that. I just start laying my edges with a toothbrush and eco styler if you've never tried eco styler before girl what are you waiting on eco styler is literally the best gel ever in my opinion for laying your edges obviously there is like gel and pomade for your edges but I just find eco styler is a cheaper alternative and you get so much in the bottle it's two dollars and you get an entire container of gel and it's lasted me literally so long and I just like it. it just keeps my edges down all day all night I can fall asleep with these edges on and they'll still be there in the morning so I just kind of swoop them into a C motion I just try to get them as even as possible on either side I don't really go into too much depth with these but I do like to have them laid down two is just a sleek bun as the title has mentioned so I just split it into a little bit of a middle part I'm actually like the worst at a middle part I kind of just eyeball everything I don't have a rat tail comb so it is a bit difficult to do with my fingers but I just kind of estimate and it's not like such a big deal when you're just going to like work or school but if you're going out and you want to make it a little more sleek obviously you can do that as well but I personally just like to eyeball it and then keep pushing so after I do that, I just split it and then I start tying my hair up. I try to get it as smooth as possible, but with curly hair, um, unless you wet it and then push it down with like a bristle brush, it's not really going to be like that flat and sleek. 
And to be honest, when my hair is curly, I don't mind it being a little more wavy on the top just because it shows that my hair is curly. But um, obviously if you want to sleek it down a little bit more, you can go ahead and do that. But I just add some water just to give it like a little bit of slip. And then I push it back into a little bun. And I don't like to have any of my hair sticking out on the ends, so I'm very careful to tighten it and then tuck the ends under because I don't like little hair sticking out of my bun if I'm going to do a low one. And then after this point, I'm just going to start doing my edges with the toothbrush again. Same thing, Eco Styler. And at first I started doing the C-Motion edges, but I ended up not liking the way that looked. So I just decided to flatten the entire thing out and kind of make it one big like swoop. As you can see, I changed my mind right here. Instead of making C-Curls, I just did one straight, smooth, sleek. And then I added on some clips. I just found these clips in my little hair bin and they have like a pearl on them, a little turquoise rose and then another one looks like a little Victorian pin and you don't obviously have to add these but I thought it looked kind of cute. It gives it a little bit of like a glitter, a little style. It's not my favorite look but I did think it was pretty cute. We're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star. Moving on to look number three, the messy cute bun. I love this hairstyle. It is my favorite out of all three and it's perfect on day three or four hair. So you just pull the bun halfway through so your ends are not like all the way through and then you do another loop. And then I just arrange the bun into like a little nest on top of my head. It sounds kind of weird, but just put it into like a little hive type thing till it looks cute for you. And then you can pin it down with some bobby pins, obviously, because it's not gonna stay like that all day if you're running errands and doing things like that. And then again, <clears throat> I just went in with some clips and I decided to use duckbill clips. I thought it gave it kind of like a retro vibe. They stick out on the ends a little bit, but I thought that was actually kind of cute, like with the with the whole messy bun type look. I thought that looked kind of nice. And obviously you don't have to include these clips. You could do the little cute berets that are different colors. I know that's a trend lately. I'll do a hairstyle with those. But that is it, and I hope you guys did enjoy. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I tried to do three of my top favorite go-to looks for when my hair is looking a fucking mess. If you guys have curly hair, you know the dealio. If you have straight hair, obviously you can try these too, but just word to the wise, your bun probably won't stay up like this just because when you have like curly hair, that texture really keeps it up here. But feel free to try them out and let me know what you guys think. Obviously, like I said in the beginning, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button helps me out a lot. I will post a lot more if I'm getting more feedback from you guys as well. I've always been super nervous to post on YouTube, but I'm getting back into it. So I thought this would be a really good like video to start with again because it was pretty simple and something relatable to a lot of people. So hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one.